Orzo soup. Thank you. I'd forgotten about that. Give Sharon all your gold and enter the castle? Yes. Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Dorgan 111, and welcome back to Rogue Legacy 2. Uh, we're starting off the Ronin. Ronin's usually a good class for me, and due to some crazy obsidian gear that we managed to purchase, um, I have a whole lot of health with this class. Um, so that's going to be great. So I was planning to just kind of clear out some easy areas to get things started. And I'll bring you guys back in as things get interesting. You know the drill. Okay, I found this fairy chest room. Destroy our targets, time limit 10. I remember that there's going to be like four rows of them. And it occurs to me I might be able to stand between two of the rows and spin kick my way up. So I'm going to try that. Uh, I cannot. All right. So, yeah, how could I possibly hit all of these? I guess, like, after they're done, after my time is up, like, I can still, like, play around with them, but I just, I don't know. There isn't enough time to spin kick up all four. I suppose if I were spin kicking up and also swinging my weapon, maybe something, something? I don't know. Um... One of the things we upgraded last time was Magnesis. Watch how far it gets coins from. That's pretty cool. I like that. And so I've been enjoying the extra Magnesis in this run so far. Um, yeah, it took a bunch of damage in one room, but otherwise I haven't had too much trouble so far. Oh, and guess what? I see a chicken leg. Now I don't have to worry about having much damage taken. Hooray. Um, yeah, still just kind of looking around, so I'll bring you back in as other thing. interesting things happen. Oh, baby. Gilded chest plate. Just found it here in the Sun Tower. I've been progressing through this area pretty well. It feels so good to play Ronin. Um, it just works with my play style, what can I say? Ronin was meant for me. Attack diagonally. <laughs> Sometimes hit the enemy. All of my favorite moves. Oh wow, that guy just dropped a piece of war. Nice. I realized, by the way, I looked in video editing, that when I saw some new thing coming out of the giant chests you get from completing a scar challenge or from defeating a boss, guild and trinket. Ooh, baby. All right, we're gonna have all the gold. Um. It's like a giant chunk of ore or something, it looks like. So I think just like there's, you know, coins and then bags of money, I think there's like, uh, I mean, it's called ore, but it's clearly like ingots or whatever. And then something that looks more like a chunk of ore. I don't love the graphics <laughs> that they use for the different things in terms of being readable, intelligible or something. Uh, fairy chest lose no health. Uh, this is one that I know how to do, actually, I think. Uh, uh, it's got a different set of obstacles. But nevertheless, I think I can do it. Nope, I cannot do it. <laughs> Alright, all I had to do was express my confidence to ensure failure. It's fine. Um, there will be other fairy chests, one imagines. Oh, I'm at maximum whatever, that's good. Not maximum soup. That'd be a different character. Uh, you know what? Well, that didn't work the way I wanted it to. Thought I was gonna Kotescu and at least avoid one bit of damage. But at least I remembered I have Kotescu. I got at some point a Blessing of Wisdom in order to change my spell from one spell that I didn't think I would use to another spell that I don't think I will use. Uh, and the purpose was just to get the uh, Magic Wisdom upgrade or whatever. Uh, and then maybe at some point we'll find another spell to change it out for. Uh, and then it'll actually be worth it. And, I mean, this is the one that makes uh, enemies vulnerable. And so I could potentially use it to uh, make some bosses easier. Ammonite plus one. Alright. We're finding a lot of... Um, equipment? That's the word I was looking for. Equipment. In this run. That is terrific. Uh, the Magnesis actually brought that bag to me. I was like, why is that bag not on the ground? It's because it flew up to me, even though it was so far away. 
Go, go, Gadget Super Magnesis. Um, Alright, avoid the Falling Ash. Great. A lot of enemies here have a lot of hit points. But that's okay. Because I deal a lot of damage. I look forward to dealing even more. Yeah, look how far that Magnesis goes. It's great. Um, there are places to climb, but let's take a peek inside. Oh boy. Let's get some spin kicks. And this would be a great place to... Ah, darn it. To go Tesco is what I was going to say. Oh, this is a super dude. Crap. Okay. We did kill him. He did not kill me, but he did do a fair amount of damage. Guess the correct way to do this is to do this and then do that. Yeah. Alright. I was too focused on the enemies. Oh, crap. Alright, that's fine. To think terribly hard about how to deal with the environmental threats. Um, darn it. There is undoubtedly a better way to handle that. But it's okay. We're at 449 health. I do need to be a little bit careful. But I think just still a little bit careful and not a lot of it careful. Let's hope I don't have regrets for saying that. Alright, what do we have over here? Could it be an even better spell? That would be pretty great. Uh, chicken Leg, that's also pretty great. It's a different talent. It's the shield blocking. I'm pretty happy with Kotescu. Um, yeah, let's not spend a reroll on that. I don't think there's anything I'd really want to trade out for. Uh, where do I go off the screen over here? I see. Um, got it. Alright, so I managed to climb to the top of the Sun Tower. And found a bunch of equipment along the way. Yikes! Let's not go fight Irad just yet. Uh, looking at the map... Sure, good enough there. We're only at 580 health, so let's try some Kukulian Plateau. And... Yeah, since I have you with me, let's do some uh, attempted speed strats. Where basically I try to zing zang zoom zizzle uh, right through this whole area. Although, do I want to go after every little bit of furniture? Hmm. Those are kind of in contention. This is a room I can, in theory, do. Uh, just keep moving. Got it. I could have used Kotescu as well. Oh, hey! Capacity rune. Uh, max mana capacity. It's not a super important one, but it's nice to continue finding runes. I am happy about that. Alright. Super speed. Kill all the things. Uh, there was a coin left behind me, but Magnesis went and fetched it for me, so I didn't have to go back for it. Actually, it wasn't a coin. It was red ether, but you get the idea. Um, oh, boy. Yep. Kill, kill, kill. All the things. Why do I hear... I guess I was just hearing the projectiles that had already been fired before I killed that guy. Disappearing. Are there any hidden secrets in this room? Hold on. Don't think so. Okay. Um, oh! Ooh. Uh, that worked out in my favor, amazingly enough. Alright, watch out for the wargs. They just keep coming and they don't stop coming. Etc. Could I do one of these? Let's maybe consider doing it on the way back. Hmm. The problem is if there's commander buff dudes with lifesteal that I will struggle to kill without taking a hit. I do have Kotescu. But if it's like a Blightborn that has like a gazillion hit points and lifesteal 5, I'll probably be sunk. So I think I should not do the Scar Challenges. Also, I don't need any more Empathies right now. So it would just be for a bunch of like ore and stuff. Also, there's apparently a, a secret through here. Yeah, let's get that. Thanks for the extra monies! Yeah, so I think I should just not do the Scar Challenges right now. I think that's what makes sense. Yikes! Okay. Um, you only have Explosion on you. And furthermore... Oops! I can kill your friend. And I can make you vulnerable. 
crap, except for then you're just gonna heal. And the vulnerability wore off. But I do hit hard enough that I was able to defeat you. Okay. I was playing carefully enough and tried to reason it out about whether I could kill that guy. That I don't feel bad about taking a small risk. Um, don't really care for that. Thank you. Um, let's see. This guy is just going to go bouncing around. We'll catch up to him later. Oh boy. Darn it. So yeah, it seems like if there's uh, retaliation involved, basically I hit them first. It checks to see if they're dead. If they're not dead, then the life steal from them hitting me kicks in uh, after that. And then uh, that's how kind of final damage gets computed or whatever. I feel like I was missing a chest in this room. Uh, maybe not, though. I don't see any secret holes in the floor. I've been in this room a number of times. Is there a hole in the ceiling here somewhere? Let's try it really quick. Doesn't seem like it. Alright, continuing on. Uh, can I hit you through the wall? I cannot. So we'll have to swing back around there later on, I suppose. Alright, enemies mostly running down to the bottom, because most of them are still succumbing to gravity. Silly enemies. Understanding the gravity of the situation. Uh, I hit the spin kick thingy rather than hitting the enemy. Look at my spin kick. That seems to be a constant threat. The fact that your spin kicks hit off to the side can often be very useful, but then when you're trying to target enemies with the spin kick... Oh boy. Uh, then there's oftentimes uh, you are vengeful, which will make you extremely difficult to kill. So why would I be trying it? The answer is there's no good reason. So don't try it. I'm trying to be more sensible. About the choices I make in terms of what enemies to fight. And hopefully eventually it'll work in my favor. Okay, we're back up to full power. Um, there were still bits of the Sun Tower we didn't do, and we found some good equipment in the Sun Tower. And so I think I choose to go back there. Also... I'm trying to remember uh, if I've gotten the... Is it here? Yeah, there's like this, and then I like hop up here. Um, I might have to jump kick off of this thing. And then do I have to do it again? Yeah, and then in here, I forget what's in here. All right, that's just the thing that gives me bonus damage against Irad, and that appears to uh, travel between save files or new game pluses or whatever, so I don't need to do that again. All of a sudden, I was just reminded of that and couldn't remember if I had re-gotten that in this version or knew if I needed to re-get it or whatever. So it felt good to check. Um, any chests or fairy chests or things out here? It looks like there's at least a chest. There's also a vengeful one of those guys who I do not like. So instead, we'll try going this way. Oh, is there another one? Uh, there's an explosive guy down here. Uh, how about... Uh, well, there's the chest. Yeah, how about I just avoid? There's another chest up there, though. Can I... You know what? It's just not worth going for that chest. So where else could I go? Um, we actually cleared out a lot of the Sun Tower. Yeah, we actually cleared out a lot of the Sun Tower. Maybe I'll go elsewhere. Um, I did already unlock the path to Enoch if I want to fight him. Um, and so I guess the thing to do while we still have a lot of health is try some Pish and Dry Lake. See if we can find any equipment down there. Then when we need to reheal, we'll go through Citadel Agartha. And presumably that will earn us, you know, an apple or two that'll increase our maximum health. Uh, and then we can try to go actually fight a boss with this character, because this is a good character. I do believe. 
Uh, I see the ash raining down upon me, and I mostly just kind of got lucky uh, that it didn't hit me. Ouch, but you did. Ah, you did too. Alright. Time for vengeance. In the form of a chicken leg. I'm back up to almost maximum. Hooray. Puzzle challenge destroy all targets. No jumping. This is the spin kicky one that I actually know how to do. Hooray. Oop. Okay. Got it. I almost screwed it up. Capacity rune. Max mana capacity. Again. <laughs> um, apparently there's a lot of those. You get a whole lot of maximum mana. Alright, you didn't fire things in my direction. If you did, I was going to go Tesku. Uh, but you didn't, so I didn't need to. I see those ceiling shooter thingies. So I'm going to kind of get out of the way. And then coax them up into the ceiling. Great. Thanks for the max mana. And is this the dragon? It is. And I guess I can, uh, right. Talk to him and just kind of go through the sequence before. And he's like, you still need to unchain me. And I'm like, okay, I kind of remember. Thanks for reminding me. Um, what an unusual layout. It doesn't seem like there are many choices of direction for me to go at the start of this place, so I'm guessing almost everything is going to be up, left, down. Let's find out. Okay. That worked out great. Uh, presumably this will take me somewhere good? No, it'll take me past the chest that I desperately want. <laughs> so instead, I'll jump into some spikes. What I should have done was use a Kotesku. I think... Um, actually, I don't know. I should have just hit the button at the right moment in time, I think. Ooh, eating health drops at full health. 22 resolve. Yep, we're doing it. And I would prefer to have that full health now. So now we're going back to Citadel Gartha. And we're going to find multiple health drops while we stay at max health. Alright, this could be fun to do together as well. Let's leave the furniture for the most part. Uh, let's hurry up and get back to max health. It is done. Okay, and now let's go find health drops. Um, all right, you're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Look at that Magnesis. Just grabbing all the money from so far away. And I already had the rune capacity to just put it on. So it didn't feel like, there we go, plus 82 max HP, cool. We can do that twice more, and it'll be a little bit more than 82 next time, because I think it's always like 10% of your current or something. All right, let's go ahead and grab that. And we're looking for food drops. Give me the foods, give me the foods. I want all the chicken legs and also the pizzas. That's my song. Uh, I don't really care for those. So let's try... Going this way. Um, there could be a chicken leg in here, you never know. Well, now we know. There was not. For those of you who guessed not, you were correct. Also, why would you guess against me? Don't you want me to succeed? Don't you want me to find all the chicken legs? Why would you think such a thing? I blame you if this run fails. It was you, the naysayers. The non-chicken leg guessers. Who were the cause of my downfall. Clearly not my own fingers for failing to press the right buttons at the right times. I was aware that I was going to take the knockback there. I was fine with it. Um, okay. Enough drama. Back to our regularly scheduled... Kotescu wielding? Do you wield a Kotescu? I don't actually know if Kotescu is like a weapon or a, a whatever. Um, I am confident taking on a Scar at this level in the castle because I'll just one-shot everything. Even if it is a Blightborn? Okay, it is a Blightborn. That is a little bit scarier, so let's deal with all the other enemies first until it's the only enemy remaining in the room. 
Uh, okay, and not all the enemies appear immediately. Yes, yeah, so you're just gonna heal back up. Or I could try to focus on you and just get all the damage out very quickly. That's another strategy. Okay, that actually worked. All right. So there are multiple strategies, is what I learned here. But yeah, only worked because we're at the castle level and he didn't have that many hit points. So I need to be careful. So if we look carefully, I think we'll see a giant chunk of ore that looks kind of like quartz crystals growing out of the ground. Yeah, there was one in the upper left that then came flying towards my body. Um, and I presume, I don't actually know, but I presume that's what a giant chunk of ore looks like uh, in terms of the graphics of the game. Also, I was focused on the wrong projectile. There was another projectile. Oh, that projectile is coming at an angle because the uh, pupil is not at the same height that I'm at. And that's what I failed to anticipate. Got it. Okay. Um, ramblings. I think I'm done with the ramblings, then. Now back to your regularly scheduled trying to find chicken legs. Okay. So, if we want more money at the end of the run, tiny question mark room to the right of the start gives us the relic where we commit suicide to get 30% more gold. Also, what a strange relic. Um, sure, we'll try this way. Am I at max health? I am at max health. So A, let's continue to stay at max health, and B, let's find ourselves a chicken leg. Oh, chicken leg, oh, chicken leg. I want to find and eat you. Uh, lose no health. Let's try to come back to that fairy chest after I find another chicken leg or two. It will stay lit up blue on the map, as there's a fairy chest here. You might want to consider doing this. So I'll be able to find it again easily. Okay, there's gotta be a chicken leg in here, right? There's a health potion. Sure. Which I should have left on the ground in case I took a tiny amount of damage. Alright. Uh, well, now I can't take any damage because there's no other threats in the room, so I don't mind picking it up. And... It looks like to the right of the fairy chest room. There are still places to go. Sounds like the neighbor's dog may have spotted a squirrel or something. Oop! Ah! Now that I've taken damage, and we're standing right next to the fairy chest room, let's try it. And if I take more damage... Ooh, this is not easy. Uh, there's a wall I can dash against. Did it. Okay. Good job, me. Got your bonus ready, Ether. Didn't take any damage. Also, why didn't I just do that? That's the best way to get through that room. I have just decided. Got 43... Ooh. 52 resolve. So this would cost me 9% of my health. This would give me more health drops, which would ensure that I get my other bonus. And help fuel me for the rest of the run. I'm actually going to choose this. And, yeah, now this means I can just go anywhere I want. So, where do I want? Um, there were still a bunch more rooms in Kerguelian Plateau where we could find some more money and things. So let's head that way. I'm not at max health right now, so I'm going to leave this furniture here. Next time we do get up to max health, we can come back and try to grab it. Why did I leave this chest up here? Uh, why did I leave a chest up here? I think I just never saw it. I think, oops. <laughs> or maybe I'm so bad at parkour that I completely failed the challenge to get up here. That's also a possibility. Uh, but I think I just never came to the top of that room is the, the actual reason. As opposed to the joke reason. Ouch. Okay, I think those are all the enemies. Nope. There's also a Willow and a Plinky and another Plinky. Well, Flinkies, I have just the thing for you. It's my ability to hit diagonally, and you can only shoot orthogonally. I guess it's more of a thing for me than a thing for you. 
I guess it kind of works both ways. It's something I'm, I've got prepared for them. I don't know. I'm babbling. Oh boy, Blinky. All right, other Blinky, Kazam. Uh, now I gotta go in here in order to get my uh, coins. It's so far out of the way. I see this guy coming. Oh crap, he's a commander, dude. Uh, can I get him? Uh, apparently the answer is yes. Uh, you've got a shield. Okay. You just did not take as much damage, it seems like. Um, okay. I was aware of the threat. I was considering whether I was capable of doing that room or whether I needed to back out. I'm pretty sure I was doing all the right things. We definitely want this. And now we need to earn... 18 hit points by standing around and watching a dog die on spikes. Um, where are you exactly? You're right there. Good. I rarely use the look up, look down because I'm playing on a controller that doesn't have buttons or stick for it, and so I have to use the keyboard to do it. And so if it seems like all of a sudden I pause for a moment, it's because I'm kind of looking down at the keyboard and figuring out what buttons to press in order to actually do the little look down maneuver. Um, I see you there. I can hit you through the wall and then presumably Kotescu. Oh, I see the crack, it's right here. Kotescu, there we go. Uh, there's another guy. It's fine, everything's fine. Where do you have 55,000 monies, by the way? Just pretty happy. Let's see how many more, um... Oh boy. Uh, you're an Oreo? Yep, you're an Oreo. Okay, I did manage to kill you. I'm not sure if being pinned against the top of the screen was good or bad there. It meant I could never get very far away from him, which was kind of scary, but it also meant that I could just repeatedly spin kick, and so long as I kept it up, I was going to definitely continually deal damage to him. Yeah, I don't know. I was kind of of two minds about that. Um, at this point, we kind of reached a dead end in terms of that area. And my health is lower than I would like it to be. So I think if there's more of the Citadel... Oops, wrong button. To explore, and there is. That we should explore it and see if we can get our health up. Uh, and because of my... Uh, whatchamadoodle thing, we should get a bunch of health drops. And we can finish up our Nod Bone before we do too much else. And then I can go back to adventuring in more dangerous areas. But let's try to build ourselves up as strong as possible. And also pick up more money, because money is good too. All right, and we also get a teleporter down into this region. Hmm, boxing gloves? No, thank you. I am pretty happy with the Kotasku. Not the Kotasku, the Katana. Words. Um, where do I need to go now? Over yonder. Actually, Pish and Dry Lake followed by going upwards. Seems to be the best way to get to the rest of Citadel Agartha. So let's go that way. This will also be an opportunity to pick up some of the furniture at the entrance to Pish and Dry Lake that I typically don't bother hitting, just in case it has something good for us. Today it did not. Although, I mean, I have a couple of coins. Uh, you are vengeful. Unless, actually... Because of the fact that you are not good at attacking... Oh, but you can do that. Right. Nevertheless... Ah, darn it. Ah, the retaliation killed you, though. Right. I need to think about that. So with Vengeful guys, if I get their hit points low enough, they'll send out a bunch of uh, projectile attacks all at once while they're invincible. But if the projectile's attacks hit me the uh, retaliation rune ends up hitting them back and finishing them off. And so if I can survive the hit, then that's a way that I can kill off the vengeful dudes. So there's trade-offs. Oh, there's chicken leg. I'm up to maximum. So now I definitely want to find more chicken legs. Uh, or pizzas. Ooh, I almost went too far there. Careful. Um, if I were a chicken leg or a pizza, where would I be? Not in that table, apparently. Um, are you the only enemy? No, there's another enemy. 
And I guess the spike balls are enemies. Look at the Magnesis go. I love that. That was good. And there's Axis Mundi, and I don't think there's any secrets in the ceiling over here. Uh, you know what? Axis Mundi has some furniture at the start. Maybe we'll find a chicken leg or pizza in here. Not in that one. Not in that one. And not in these ones either. I don't feel like doing Axis Mundi right now, so let's stay in the Citadel. Yeah, 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 yeah. And see, here we go. So, what are the odds I find both of the other chicken legs I need in this one room? Place your bets now. Really? Aww. I thought there were good odds. Also, my body buffet is supposed to give me an 8% chance of a uh, health drop from enemies, and I don't feel like that's kicked in thus far. Uh, but we're just on a little bit of a dry streak, and eventually it'll kick in. One imagines, or at least I choose to imagine. Alright, there's a scar challenge we did. Uh, let's kill enemies. I hope that they start dropping like they're supposed to. Um, is there a chest at the left end of this? Yeah. Is there a danger to getting to said chest? Right now it doesn't appear like there's much. Uh, yeah, there's not much. Okay, just some spikes on the ceiling, but no enemies really kind of protecting. Ooh, what is happening here? Uh, Kotescu? Oh, it was over here. Kind of interesting that the Kotescu managed to hit the wall over there. I guess when I activate it, it causes uh, a horizontal thing. Let's actually kind of witness. Yeah, it's almost like uh, like a cartoony thing where you run back before you run forward kind of thing that it seems to do in terms of its animation, and it hits through that animation. So that's pretty good, actually. Um, I want to not take any damage, so I'm going to be a little bit too careful here. Okay. All right. Um, how have I not managed to pick up a chicken leg or anything? This is ridiculous. I know a solution to this problem. It's called the Kogulian Plateau. There's tons of furniture in the entrance. I betcha, betcha, betcha that one of those bits of furniture, it's also furniture here that I'm gonna grab. Already got that bit. I betcha one of those bits of furniture has chicken leg in it. Show me chicken leg. Denied. What about on this half? Really? No chicken legs anywhere? Here's that scar challenge that I still don't feel super confident about. And in any case, before I do any kind of challenges, I should really try to finish off my nod bone. Just makes sense. Speaking of nod bones. A little doggy like the work would probably like an odd bone. It sounds delicious. Hee <laughs> hee. Um, chicken legs? I heard you exist. Did they introduce a patch while I was playing this game, this session today? They got rid of food drops? Is that what happened? I can't come up with another explanation for why there's no food drops. <laughs> oh gosh! Oh, now I'm not at max health. Darn it. And there's spikes all across the ceiling, so at least I saw it come at Gix and chose to kill the Wisp at the right location. And I guess we're going in here to get some vampirism and get some health back, because that's what we do. Uh, hey, buddy. He takes multiple hits to kill. Alright, seriously. Chicken legs. Where are you at? There's another body buffet. Relic. Thingy. Um, there's still a way to go upwards. That I did not even notice in this room. Oh, uh, maybe I did notice it. Oh, there's arrows. I saw them just in time. Alright, before they reload. 
Let's do that. Oh, there's arrows up there. Got him. Uh, there's arrows over here. Crap. Okay. No, there's arrows. Uh, it was a spear javelin. Spear maiden. Whatever you are. Ah, uh, got... No, no, no. <laughs> I'm not happy about what happened there. Alright. It should not be this hard to get max health back. Uh, I think I play a little bit better when I'm off camera, so I'm going to go off camera to access Bundy and get my health back. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, lest you think I'm only being complainy pants, uh, saying that I play better off camera, I got through the first two rooms of Axis Mundi, only took damage once, despite fighting off two different commander guys, uh, did get my food up twice to raise my maximum health, and now we're in a secret fairy chest room and I just need to locate the secret. Um, and I see the crack in the wall finally. I've been in this room before, so I think I know where it is, but I didn't remember. Um, but yeah, basically the long and short of it is things have been going great in Axis Mundi. Uh, in fact, so great that I should probably... Oh, crap! Uh, well. <laughs> uh, I should probably have never come off camera. No, it's fine. Um, yeah, I should probably head back to one of the areas where I can get some equipment. Um, oops. Alright, that was hardly any damage, it's fine. There's like two chests on the screen right here, so I just want to grab these two chests. Uh, but then I think we'll just teleport back and go do some other stuff. Okay, so there's a chest, there's a chest. Let's head back to Pish and Dry Lake. And see if we can find another piece of equipment down there. And then I think we've done enough with this character that I might just want to... Um, take a shot at Enoch. Because uh, I think we're in pretty good shape for it. I've only got 120% 1% resolve, so I think it's unlikely that that's going to get better. Um, sure, why not? Hey, chicken. Um, I actually need it. Nice. Uh, there's not a secret here or anything? Guess not. Um, is there really nothing here? Is there like a secret place I can jump down to the floor or something? Yeah, guess not. Um, what was I saying? Words, probably? Oh yeah, uh, with Enoch, I have a spell that applies vulnerability, so that actually could be very good against a boss. Um, and I've got like 1200 hit points and a very good like character in terms of like hitting enemies and dealing damage, so I think I actually have a shot against him. Is the long and the short of it. Alright, just wanted to get that thing on cooldown. Oops, alright. <laughs> Remember how I said I have a very good character who's good at dealing damage? That was before I immediately spent, I think, six strikes in a row not hitting the enemy. <laughs> Turns out that no matter how good the character is, you still have to press the buttons at the right moments of time. Who knew? Okay, but if you do press the moments, press the moments, press the buttons at the right moments, then good things happen. And you're rewarded with chests full of money, and with exploding chests full of, I guess they're barrels, not chests, uh, food and health. Me. Uh, once again, if I just keep moving, ooh, these are on a faster cycle though. Easy game. High stakes rune. Final damage multiplier from super crits. That will become more valuable over time as I increase my overall critical chance. Um, so I'm glad to have that, but I don't know that I will purchase it immediately. This guy's about to come out of the floor through me. There he is. And then after he jumps at me, great. I'm I'm still not great at those guys, but I am getting better. Like, I used to, like, just always fear for my life anytime one of those guys is on the screen. And now it's more like, I need to be careful, but uh, I might be able to do something good, maybe. <laughs> That's such a confident saying, isn't it? I might be able to do something good, maybe. It's an improvement. Uh, and that's all we need to do. We just need to incrementally improve. We keep doing that. Eventually, we're going to be really good at this game. That's exactly how it worked for me in Rogue Legacy 1. 
Took me four playthroughs, but I got pretty decent at the game. Got to like new game plus seven or something. Which I have no idea how far I'm gonna take this run, but for now I'm still having a lot of fun. Like I every time I have a chance to record it. I try to record it. Um and lately that's been a lot. I don't know if my I feel like I'm getting close to losing my voice, so I need to be careful. Um, yikes! Okay. Ah. Spin kick! Uh, spin kick again at the right moment of time. Boom! There we go. Oh boy. Um, what do we have here? One of these bosses that I do not want to fight. As an aside, we're up to uh, 82,000 monies. That's pretty cool. I wouldn't mind finding... There we go. Health potion. Uh, or mana potion that also gives me some health. You know what I mean. Oh, uh, you're... Okay. You have a little wind-up in your dash. Where you go backwards briefly. And it kind of scares me. I wonder if I broke the sledge and broke the sledge. A, when the slug was on it, would he just fall down to the layer below? And B... Would he just stay trapped on this thing because he chooses not to walk off ledges? I think both of those are probably true. Um, but I don't know if I've witnessed all of that slug behavior. Or speculative slug behavior with my own eyeballs before. Um, yeah, so I'm kind of vaguely interested in the answers to those questions. Science! Oh boy, that's a trap. Um, there is a room above me that I didn't do. Fun. So, it just occurred to me, do I not have the sun lantern? That's why everything's so dark. I haven't gotten the sun lantern because I haven't restored the sun. And so Pish and Dry Lake is super dark. I can't believe it only just occurred to me now that that's the case. And so that's something that like doesn't carry over in New Game. Yikes, okay, I all of a sudden took a bunch of damage there. Now I need to be really careful. Um, yeah, only just occurred to me. So, apologies to those who have probably been asking about it in the comments or something. And of course, I've recorded, like, a gazillion episodes ahead. And by a gazillion, I mean possibly literally 50. <laughs> Having so much fun playing this game. Uh, I just record it all the time. Even though I'm way ahead. Uh, okay, so this room... Has the hidden accessories place that is over here. Like, I'm pretty sure I've already done whatever I need to do here. And then in this room, I just want to remember, in case I ever do another playthrough, I have to do everything. Has the hidden thing. I actually saw the crack in the wall there this time. And then this leads me to his secret workshop where something, something. Actually, did I ever figure out what was in here? Like, it's a secret workshop, sure. But then what? There's furniture here. There's a bunch of dead bodies down there. But did I find anything in here? Did I reveal insight? Hold on. Uh, quest. Insights. Exactly where the accessories are located in the empty storeroom. Discover Tubal's hidden room. We found Tubal's hidden room. This is it, right? Why did that never get resolved? Is there anything else to find in here? Like, this is like the hidden hidden room. We're here. And nothing. I don't understand why that insight never got resolved. Uh, and I probably never will. <laughs> Actually, what will probably happen is Klyseer will figure it out in his playthrough, and I'll be watching it and see it, and then I'll know. But for now, I still don't know. Um, where are we going next? South. Down. Whatever direction you want to call this way right here. Alright. Bubbly fish. A little bit of the bubbly. There we go. Uh, walnut, who I could hit through the floor. That'll finish you off. You need to take a hit or two. There we go. The body buffet is definitely kicking in. I'm seeing the extra health drops finally now. Uh, who's shooting me from afar? 
It's probably a vengeful dude. Or a commander buff dude, or whatever it is I'm trying to say. Oh, it's a commander coconut! And the... Hmm. Could I defeat him? Uh, which commander buff does he have? Uh, let's not worry about it. Okay, also there's a guy here. I choose to leave the screen. And discover... Something I'm not particularly interested in right there. Dun. So let's just kind of continue looking around. I'm not going to do that, because that'll probably kill me. And I want to not die. Ideally. Look at that. Magnesis, go! It's great. Uh, Bubblefish. Thanks for jumping up into uh, my range of where I could hit you. And, okay, so at this point, do I want to go back and fight Enoch? Do I think I'm going to get any stronger? Looks like I did most of the castle. There's a little bit of the castle, actually, just in case there's another nectar, apple, whatever it's called, that gives me a blessing of life. I'm going to do a few more rooms, and then we'll go fight Enoch. Didn't find anything else great. So let's take a shot at this and see how it goes. Let's hope he doesn't heal. Alright, and he's doing that. Oh boy. Uh, I should definitely make him vulnerable, so he takes more damage. I should learn what parts of the arena I need to stay out of. Ouch. And I should grotesque through things I need to grotesque. Alright, I know how to deal with this. Great. It's fine. Okay. Okay. Fine. Go test scoop. Uh, could have gone better, but it was okay. I don't think he's healing. Oh boy. Go test scoop. Oh boy. That was actually good. We got him transformed. Um, okay, great. Oh, crap. I meant to hit him with that. Good. This is actually going really well. In case you weren't sure. Uh, he's gonna come rushing at me. I know that move. Or that tell. Okay. Uh. He's almost down. But we do have another phase, so be ready. Ah, uh, Kotescu. Ah, uh, just finish him off. I can't finish him off from here. Okay. There we go. Okay, I still have 485 health. Get ready for the next phase. Don't take any more damage between now and then, because we're not done. Okay. And don't be afraid to Kotescu. Do use your vulnerability spell, etc. Okay. Alright, got him. He's vulnerable. I was not quite in the best. Okay. Okay, this is where it's gonna be hard. Oh boy. I wanna just kinda stay above him. Oh gosh. Oh, I'm so low on health. Oh boy. Oh, wait. Darn it. Darn it. Darn it. Darn it. Darn it. Okay. I gave him a good fight. I couldn't quite do it. Um, but we took a shot. And it's the first time in a while we've taken an honest shot at a boss. Max rank! 15! We finally reached max rank. Okay. So I know that there's a way that I could lift that maximum if I want to try to go past it. Or at least I'm pretty sure there's a way that we can purchase that. And I did get 91,000 monies which is also very good. And now we get to choose a ranger with enkindled gauntlets and a knockout punch and a gravity beam and a compulsive order. <laughs> um, the enkindled gauntlets seem unplayable to me, so I think no. Uh, a cartographer pirate. It's not awful. A gunslinger. 
who has exploding casket syndrome. I don't like that. And an assassin who doesn't have as many hit points and he was already low on hit points because he's an assassin. So no, I don't like him. Uh, boring. Don't like that class. Another bookish dude. Super good magic, probably, but I think still no. Astromancer with a frying pan? I think also no. Uh, Chef with a bag of spoons and Obscura is interesting. It's worthy of consideration. Uh, fighter who gets more mana and has a searing shot. It's not bad. Boxing Bell on a Mage. It's not super great. And a Boring Gunslinger. Who would have a lot of opportunity to pick up other things with Resolve. And I haven't played a Gunslinger in a really long time. I think I'm going to choose the Gunslinger. I do like Fungal Spread. I'm going to choose the Gunslinger. Um, so. I have a lot of money. However... I also got some gold equipment. Gave up on the pillow. Too hard. Made glass beads. Sewed them into a blanket. Ah, like a heavy weighted blanket. Alright. Well done. Good job, sir. Gotta play to your strengths. So, I got a gilded trinket. Yes. So this would be plus ten gilded unity. And I must know what the unity bonus does. So, let's take off obsidian. We're gonna buy this. Uh, obsidian was also here. We're gonna buy this. And obsidian was also here. We're gonna buy this. Plus 10% or an ether gain? Really? Is it not a plus percent on money? It says plus 65% in the upper left right now. And now it still says plus 65%. Really? That's what Gilded does? That's disappointing. In my opinion. Uh, while I'm wearing it, remind me, is there any possible way that the carries trade this ore for something other than souls? Ore converter. Convert ore into ether, convert ether into ore, or convert both into soul stones. Huh. I mean, more soul stones would enable me to purchase some more things that I do want. Um, but yes, overall, the gilded set is not the amazing thing that I was hoping that it would be. Try to narrate your life back to yourself? I do it on camera, actually, all the time. If I wrote a book about me, it would be a perfect tale for the architect. Oh my goodness. Uh, I'm going to switch out of the Gilded and back into the Obsidian after careful consideration. Um, yeah, and I'm not sure that I would ever use the Gilded stuff now, and I'm kind of disappointed by that. Um, did I actually gear myself properly there? Uh, I've got four Obsidian pieces. No, I've got three Obsidian pieces. The Sanguine Cape looks black just because of how it is, but it is sanguine. So I've got two bonuses going. Okay. Um, and I have a bunch of money to spend, still. Um, including enough for gold gain. So I'm going to buy that. And then what else would I buy? Uh, strength up is still good. Right now it doesn't seem like I need the weight up. Rune weight is also important, because actually, hmm. Let's buy another rune weight. And then let's glance at my runes and see if there's one more rune that I could equip, possibly. Um, so I have 20 more rune weight. Magic crit, eh. Magic crit damage, eh. High stakes would cost 30 and only have 20. But you know what? If I wanted the 30... I could get it by taking off one of the Magnesis runes. So let's take off one of the Magnesis runes and add the Hike Stakes rune. There we go. Because super crits will happen somewhat frequently. For example, I saw two super crits there. 
Um, so yeah, that'll be good. And then finally... Um... Do I need to do any more things with the Gunslinger to get some points in here? Gunslinger has zero, zero, and zero. You know what? I think I'll save that for next time. So next time, we will use the Gunslinger to try to get some more bonus points and scars. I hope, as always, that you guys are having a great day. And I'll see you again soon for more Rogue Legacy 2. For now, bye-bye.